Hello YouTubers, thanks for stopping in. Today's topic, the Bible's do's and don'ts for eating. And should we be vegetarians? So I'm going to try to touch on that topic today. And uh, stop and pause anytime. Remember to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul. And I will incorporate the two witnesses today. So uh, we're going to get cracking. And again, thanks for stopping in. For the first part of this, we're going to talk about Leviticus, Leviticus 11. That's where it has a lot of talking about what you can and cannot eat. So it, is, it starts out with, yes, you can eat meat, but it's got to chew the cud and it has to have a parted hoof. So swine's out. They have a parted hoof, but they don't chew the cud. So he goes into more detail about what you can and cannot do with those types of animals. And then he talks about the fish that you can eat. Uh, it has to have fins and it has to have scales. Everything else is out. Uh, and then he talks about the birds. What type of birds? Well, most of the birds that he mentions, the vultures, you know, the eagles and those, those eat other little animals. You know, he doesn't want you eating a bird that eats other animals. So, uh, turkey is okay. Chicken's okay. Now, parting of the hoof, you can eat the deer, you can eat the lamb, you can eat the cow. You can even eat a giraffe. And you can eat elk, and you can eat buffalo, and those kind of things. So just remember, it has to part the hoof. And then he goes into greater detail. He makes lists. You know, you can't eat the stork. Um, you, you know, what you can and cannot eat are the fowls. Fowls that creep upon all fours. That will be an abomination to you. Uh, so the chickens have two legs. The turkeys have two legs. You can eat those. But um, pay attention to the ones that eat other animals don't eat those and the carcasses that's dead don't eat the animal that you find dead on the road sorry no roadkill and you know don't eat the ferrets and the chameleons and the lizards and the snails and the moles and things like that okay those are unclean those are creeping things you know that are on the earth they're on full all fours you know paws nope can't have the wolf and the crustaceans, you can't have the cockroaches of the sea called the shrimp and the lobster. Now, pork is definitely out because pork, they can't, they're toxins. They can't release it from their skin. It's, it stays in there and they'll eat anything. And they have so many parasites. So we stay away from pork. Um, definitely stay away from pork. Leviticus 11 goes on. Uh, and he talks about, you know, you can't drink the blood and you can't have blood pudding. So get away from the blood. Drain it completely. I mean, uh, anything that you touched that was, you know, killed, you got to clean it. And if it's, you know, uh, creeping things in a, dead things in an earthen vessel, you know, get rid of the vessel. You know, break the vessel. And whatsoever, if, again, he says, goes on the belly, on all fours, whatsoever, you know, creeping things that have more than four feet you know you can't eat that and now he does talk about you can't eat the grasshoppers and you can eat uh, certain locusts and things and gluttony Ooh, you've got to pay attention to the gluttony here stop and pause that's important and then in Acts you know we also hear more about their arguments in Acts chapter 10 you know the Gentiles the vision that Peter had of unclean things well Gentiles eat unclean things well now when they're baptized and they become the light use the lifestyle of the Israelites then they're clean the father has cleansed them and now we go into Deuteronomy 14 which is a uh, basically a duplication almost of Leviticus 11 gives a little more details about things but it it's the second witness or third in some cases you know you can't eat the eagle you can't eat the glade you can't eat the kite you can't eat the offspring but you can eat the turkey and you can eat the dove, and you can, but don't eat the owl, you know. And you can't eat the pelican, you know. Can't eat the stork or the heron. And so, you know, you can't eat a bat. But seething a kid in its mother's milk, you can have milk with your meat. But when you take the mother's milk and take the baby that that mother's had and boil it in that milk, that's a pagan thing. Don't do it. And if you go to pay your tithes and offerings and you want to convert your um, animals to money, you can do that. Bind it up and pay your tithe that way. If it's too much for you to, to take and leave for the Levites or the poor. 
So we got a lot of great stuff in Deuteronomy 14. And then there, I've got a list in here for you. So these are meats that are good to eat, like the antelope, the heart, the buffalo, the can caribou, uh, you know, um, ox, reindeer, sheep, even the giraffe. And then, of course, the chicken, the dove, the duck. You can eat those, turkey, and more. So you can read that. And uh, then, of course, I've got the clean fish. And then I've got, because you can eat tuna, and uh, things you can't eat. Don't eat the dogs, donkeys, coyotes, elephants. You can't eat any of those things. The fox, the weasels, the wolves, the wolverine. You can't eat them. Zebra, no horses. You know, and clean birds, the cockatoo, no. You know, the eagle, the flamingo, no. Owl, these are things that might eat crustaceans, you know, as well. Seagull, you can't eat that. They eat crustaceans. They've got nasties with them. Can't eat toads or turtles or snakes, no. And remember to avoid gluttony in Numbers 11, 32 to 34, when they were talking about the, gosh, we're tired of this manna. Give us, you know, some meat. Well, they were so gluttonous, it, it bothered the father. Because they took so much of it and dried it out, and that's they just stuffed it in their mouth with, you know, the flesh. No, he killed them. And so, um, are we to be vegetarians? Well, in the Garden of Eden, they didn't eat meat, apparently. And so, but you later in Genesis 9, you do see that he says, you can eat meat. And he just says, don't eat the flesh of the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall not eat. So don't eat the blood get away from it make sure it's fully drained and Daniel the argument that Daniel didn't eat meat well he did eat meat you'll see in in uh, Daniel 10 verse 3 but he wasn't gonna eat the king's meat because he's you know it's strangled meat and it's sacrificed to idols so that was gonna be an abomination so don't do it and he didn't so proud of him very good he didn't defile himself so remember in Daniel 10 3 I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh to my mouth, because he was fasting. But he did eat meat. So then in Acts 15, 29, the big thing, you know, um, for the Gentiles, you know, don't eat meat sacrificed to idols. That's what they do. They drank the blood, they strangled, you know, get away from all that. That's an abomination. If you want to be clean, you know. So I hope this helps you, because it's not sinning to be a vegetarian.